638, fish out there on top of that little hump. 60 feet out. Oh, Jesus, big bass, holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> Mega Live, Mega 360 on the kayak. Is it overkill? I don't know, for some guys it is. For me, it's not. This is how I fish. I guess if you don't like it, don't put it on there, but I'm going to keep doing it. 454. Six forty four. Got some wood up on top of the hump here. Just made a full cast. Just bumped it with my jig. 60 to 70 feet out. I'm just drifting with the wind right now. When I get over this stuff, I'm going to turn around and fish up into it so I can control it more. There's a good fish. Not bass. I just finished setting up my kayak this afternoon. And what I did is I put the Mega Live on my left side. And I wanted to do that because I can control the handle the same side I control my rudder. I hold my hand, hand, rod with my right hand and I can keep my keep working the jig or my bait while I'm turning both of these. And if I get a fish, just take your hand off and you're right back on the reel. So if I did it on the other side, I'd have to grab my rod and turn and that just doesn't make any sense. Now I got the Mega 360 on my right side because I don't have to touch that. I tucked it right up against the side of the kayak. It's out of my way for the most part. As of right now, I don't really see a whole lot I need to tweak or change. See it there, 651, there's a fish with it. Looks like a big fish. Big bass. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that when you're fishing out deep. Kayak, electronics, and your first two fish are big largemouth. There's no way I'd be catching these without my electronics. So you can say what you want about it, but I'm not going to beat the bank. I'm not going to sit out here and just fan cast. So went right out to my mapping paths I made from Google Earth. Didn't even scan, just use old aerial maps, made paths, came right out here, started casting on my waypoints I put on there and it's loaded with fish. Oh, there's fish, 652. 40 feet out, I'm a little to the side of them. I saw them after I cast. I'm gonna try to bring a kitty corner here and cut them off. That 
is the power of electronics on your kayak right there. Third bass of the night. Actually, four. One came off. Number two. Another question I heard. How can you land the fish if you got all those graphs on there? Well, I don't know how to explain it other than you just saw the three fish I caught. Along the edge here, it's wide open. All you have to do is grab it. You don't have to be netting everything. It's almost to the point where I could just drive around and look for them on the Mega Live. The 360, I can see the weed puffs and a couple pieces of wood sticking up here, but you, you see that and you can aim right at it. Mm -hmm. It's deadly, absolutely deadly what you can do. I'm a little shallower than I probably should be here. Those other fish were out more right close to that drop off. It's a long point that sticks out underwater here. Like I was saying earlier, I used Google Earth and went to old history, old aerial shots and found low water and then just traced that stuff. Then you get into a high water period and you have all that stuff figure out before you have to go scan. See it on their 704. That submerged wood we found on the edge of this little sunken point. Absolutely a gold mine right now. Haven't been fishing very long, but it's pretty consistent. There's fish right below me. Oh, right over the boat. You can see it on there, 705. Holy smokes. That's 100% mega life. It feels like a tank. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh my god. That's your trophy caliber here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh my god. We saw that on the Mega Live. 704, 705. We're right underneath the boat after we let that other fish go. Reeled in fast, dropped it right down on it. That is the power of electronics. Why would you not want to use them? <laughs> that 360 lets me kind of see that weed edge, kayak out alongside it, and I can focus more on the live, see if there's any fish moving around. Heck of a one two punch. There's a fish out at 50, 60 feet. Should be falling right on it. Yep, went right to it. I don't know what I have. 
have here, but dang. Looks like a bass. Oh, dang, that's a big one there. Oh, man. Oh, that was on the live. You can choose not to use them. But I know what I'm gonna do, and I'm sure not gonna feel guilty about it. That was so cool. Followed that weed edge with the 360, 725. Saw those, saw it hit, saw it when I lifted it off the bottom. Cool, cool bite. out there's my jig dropping there's a fish going right at it Video game and I don't know I think the only complain about using these things are the ones that don't have them holy cow three sounds jig and those fish you can see them just attack it that's at 730 